everyone. My name is Gohei. I work in Japan and travel as a hobby with my family and friends. Today, I want to talk about my three day s trip to Yamaguchi Prefecture. I would like to describe the exceptional dishes and sightseeing spots to those who visit in Yamaguchi Prefecture for the first time. Detailed information on the places we stayed and the sightseeing spot we visited are saved in Google Map. Please check it from the link below. First, let me introduce Yamaguchi Prefecture. It locates in the western part of Japan, really close to the Kyushu region. Surprisingly, Yamaguchi Prefecture was selected by the New York Times as one of the 52 places to go in 2024. About access to Yamaguchi Prefecture. From Tokyo, there's a direct flight from Haneda Airport to Yamaguchi Ube Airport, taking about one and a half hours. If you're using Shinkansen, it takes about four and a half hours from Tokyo Station. If you're traveling from Osaka to Yamaguchi, They are no direct flights, but it takes about two and a half hours to reach Shin Yamaguchi Station by Shinkansen from Shin Osaka Station. As a note for those considering traveling, it's recommended to rent a car since public transportation in Yamaguchi Prefecture is limited. Fortunately, there are many car rentals within walking distance from Ube Airport, so you can rent a car without needing to take a bus if you reserve in advance. It's also convenient to return the car near the airport. Karato Market is a historical market selling fresh seafood, local vegetables, and products. It's a place closely connected to the lives of local people and known as a spot where tourists can enjoy delicious offering from Shimonoseki. The greatest charm of Karato Market is undoubtedly the fresh seafood. Shimonoseki is famous for fugu. There are many stores within the market offering fugu dishes, such as sashimi and hot p o t allowing you to enjoy various fugu cuisines. The market also boasts a variety of eateries where you can taste dishes made with fresh seafood on the spot, adding to its appeal. We bought fugu sashimi and two colored bowl of ikura and uni. The chance to eat fish freshly caught and brought to the market is a unique attraction. Moreover, the market vendors are incredibly friendly and kind. After eating lunch at Karato Market, we head to Tsunoshima Island Bridge. The Tsunoshima Island Bridge is said to be the second longest bridge in Japan. You can cross the bridge for free, and there's also a nearby parking area allowing you to view the bridge from the observation deck close by. Especially on a sunny day, the view is breathtakingly beautiful, making it perfect for driving, cycling, and photography. Tsunoshima itself also has a beautiful beaches and lighthouse, captivating all food visits. Unfortunately, when we went, the weather was not great, so instead of an emerald sea, we couldn't properly fly our drone due to the strong wind, but we were still able to capture the scenery. For dinner, we went to Komori. An izakaya in Nagato that has been around for over 70 years. This place is a hidden gem not widely known online, perfect for those who want to experience the deeper side of Yamaguchi. I heard that the first owner of this small country only izakaya was the person who spread the popularity of yakitori in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Every dish we ordered was delicious. The pig's feet in the photo, seasoned with yuzu pepper, looked intense but were undoubtedly delicious. Motonosumi Shrine is known for its beautiful scenery and as a power spot. Situated on a cliff facing the Sea of Japan, its sacred atmosphere and magnificent nature is its charm. Another significant feature of the shrine is the thousand tori gates that lead through its ground. Although we were not blessed with good weather on the day of our visit, arriving around 7 am means there were hardly any people around. The current visiting hours are from 7 am to 4 30 pm, so be mindful to the time when you visit. An hour's drive from Motonosumi Shrine, we reached Akiyoshidai, Japan's largest c o s t plateau, designed as a special natural monument and place of scenic beauty. This area is especially attractive to nature lovers. Although our stay was short, there are numerous hiking trails across this vast land, offering endless opportunities to enjoy nature. The best season is around April, when the vegetation is lush and green, so keep that in mind when planning your visit. The 
next we head to Beppu Benten Pond. This is the tourist attraction on the way to Akiyoshito Cave. In fact, we were told about this place by a regular customer of Izakaya Komori yesterday and decided to include it in our schedule on short notice. The water in this pond is spring water unique to the coast region and it's extremely clear, and the reflection of the surrounding nature on the surface of the water is very beautiful. We could also drink the spring water and it was a precious place where we could enjoy the water of the coast region. Next, let me introduce about Akiyoshitai Safari Land. At Safari Land, you can see various animals such as lions, tigers, elephants, and giraffes up the coast. A unique feature of this safari land is that you can tour the park in your own car. The dedicated bus tour within the park allows you to safely experience areas where animals roam freely, offering a valuable opportunity to observe their behavior and ecology. In the animal petting area, we were able to interact with kangaroos and alpacas. Akiyoshito Cape, which began forming about 300 million years ago in Mine City, Yamaguchi Prefecture, resulted from the marine organism and limestone accumulating at the sea's bottom. Movements in the Earth's crust and rainwater over time sculpt the cave. Discovered officially in 1926, ongoing exploration have revealed artifacts from the Jomon period, showing that people have visited the site for a long time. Akiyoshito Cave is approximately 1,000 meter long. Please be careful when visiting as it is very dark inside and the temperature is kept around 70 degrees Celsius. The place was overwhelming in terms of the impact of the entrance and the natural beauty formed over a vast period of time. Personally, I can recommend this place as the best sightseeing spot in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Finally, I'd like to introduce this restaurant, Shunsai Suzuyoshi. If I have the chance to visit Yamaguchi Prefecture again, this is the one of the places I would like to stop by. Focusing on seafood, the owner's deep fried eggplant and tomato cheese bake were truly tasty. If you love seafood, you must try the sazai sashimi. It was the most chewy and delicious sazai I've ever had. When asked about the secret of its deliciousness, it turns out the owner himself goes fishing on a boat to catch the fish. He goes fishing on sunny Wednesday, so Wednesday and Thursday have the most variety. If you call in advance, you might be able to reserve fish you want to eat. So, these are the recommended spots for 3 days trip to Yamaguchi. There are many places in Yamaguchi Prefecture where you can enjoy delicious food and nature. Of course, we have not been able to introduce all of them, but we were very happy if you could plan your trip referring to these places and contents. By the way, detailed information on the places we stayed and the sightseeing spot we visited are saved in Google Maps. Please check it from the link below in the description. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment. And thank you very much for watching.